Well, the Acolyte numbers are in. 4.8 million people watch this show on day one, apparently. Where does that number actually sit? Well, it's not as much as you think for a Disney Plus subscription-based show. Yes, yes, that's right. Disney Plus subscription base. There's about 150 million people that subscribe to Disney Plus. So 4.8 million views in one day is not very good numbers when you look at the overall aspect of it. There's a lot of people that subscribe to Disney Plus. Before we show you all the numbers here, do yourself a favor, subscribe to the channel, keep coming back, keep leaving comments and like or dislike the videos. It does not matter to me because I'm going to be here as long as I can. The Accolade officially biggest Disney launch of 2024 with 4.8 million views in one day. Well, we've got some uh, some interesting stuff coming out from that park place. Financial analyst calls Star Wars the accolade global viewership pathetic and explains that it's only about 3% of Disney Plus subscribers watched. The Walt Disney Company and Lucasfilm's attempt to use access media outlet Variety to put a positive spin on initial viewership for Leslie Headlands, Star Wars, The Accolade. However, financial analyst Vigilant Renegade, who works for that park place, uh, calls for the numbers and uh, calls that the numbers are pathetic and explains it's only about 3%. And from Variety themselves, 2024 streaming hit, uh, hit post way to post peak TV IP strategy. And if you scroll down here, you actually get a breakdown of how Disney Plus shows are actually breaking down. And when you look at these, things are not good. You have a real bug's life at 2.6%, Piercy Jackson's and the Olympians at 23% of Disney Plus right now. That's not a lot. Ahsoka season one, 3%. The Mandalorian, 3%. X-Men 97, which just came out at 6.8%. Hmm. Let's dial this back a minute. 6.8% of people that have Disney Plus have watched X-Men 97. When you do the numbers, it doesn't work out. You want 4.8 million views a day? That's about 3% of Disney watchers. It doesn't make sense. And we can go this another route as well. If you look at Google Trends, you can see how things have gone. This is over the last seven days. And I've put up here four search terms. We've got Doctor Who, which is huge right now, um, Star Wars, X-Men, and Young Sheldon. Very much everything is up in the air right now. Everything's going. Doctor Who being the, the blue, Young Sheldon being the green. Young Sheldon is a show that is ending. It's a spinoff of Big Bang Theory. Um, so there's a lot of interest in that show as well. And then when you look at Star Wars, they're down here. Itty bitty bitty right below X-Men, which X-Men 97 has a bigger share of the subscriber base for Disney+. Plus. So is this really the biggest launch that they've ever had you've got to sit there and take a scroll back and go mm, i don't think so what are the reviews saying on all of these well you got doctor who the the critics absolutely love it and then you have a 34 percent audience score i don't know out of how many actually watch this show because generally when there's enough people they actually put a number there and then if you look at star wars you've got 5,000 plus ratings for Star Wars, showing it right now at 28% of the audience uh, are liking it. 75% of critics, top critics, but all the critics are giving it a 91. And of course, at 75%, it's still rated fresh. That That's Star Wars for you. X-Men 97, well, this actually tells you a little bit more in detail what's actually going on here. You have 500 ratings. Oh, why is X-Men 97, which has 6.8% of the viewership, only have a 500 plus audience ratings for the show? 
that's an interesting tell right 100 it gets 100 percent from top critics and a 99 percent from top and from all critics i have to say i watched the first two episodes of x-men 97 i was not impressed i felt the animation was severely lacking and i felt like it was watching a a clip show in some cases it didn't feel very smooth the transitions of the show just because of that i can't force myself to continue to watch this show maybe i put it on in the background one days but i can't sit there and actually watch it and it's really surprising young sheldon out of all of these has no critics no no one's rating this show 83 percent of the audience once again we don't know what the numbers there are it's like young sheldon just doesn't exist but yet when you look at the trends it puts young sheldon up there with doctor who so you've got to actually wonder what is really going on behind the scenes. The news cycle dominates how Star Wars is pushing these things, how they are hating on apparently white males from the main actress in the show. When people watch The Hate You Give, what, what do you want them to walk away with? Because I know everyone has a slightly different feeling. Um... Well, I mean, white people crying actually was the goal. And it just continues to go off the rails because they're not even they're not even cracking X-Men's numbers right now. And X-Men was above that. So where does this really leave us? Where does that actually sit this show? You know, fake fire in space. We've had starship battles in space where things sound fantastical and of course we're a third person watching the telling of these tales and a lot of people are talking about how there's always fire in these space battles and things explode. Yeah, they do have inner gases that explode out, but when you have a scene where it looks like a campfire is on fire on the side of, an, uh, of a spaceship traveling through space, you don't have wind these that that that's the main difference here you don't have the opportunity to for things to shake in wind uh it doesn't exist in space the same way it would be a different style of flame especially what they were trying to show there for that for that flame and that's why the continuity it's really a continuity error and a, a lot of people sit there and they want continuity and they want something that actually melds together properly and that's why a lot of people went off on it because they're like this doesn't really make sense yes we're talking about a, a people that can move things with their minds magical beings out there in the far galaxy far far away but then it pushes things like apparently the next one is going to have a lesbian based force baby i don't know how that actually happens but the force does do strange things it's just weird to go that route anyway i've been your proud canadian phoenix center shadow i'm signing off here if you like this one let me know down below i will see you again very soon don't forget to like and subscribe <laughs>